Welcome to the series of how these renderings were made. Today we are going to analyze this project, made by Ewelina Lecker, a Polish architect and 3DD artist. She has told us everything she used to make this image, using 3DS Max, Corona Renderer and Photoshop. So stay until the end of the video, because we will discover the techniques, resources, settings and materials they used to achieve these results made by a professional. His main inspiration was the project Kekula Green Shed. When he makes renders based on photos, he tries to make them as close as possible to the references. The modeling part was not so difficult. To make a glass booth, he used simple boxes and plans and converted them to editable poly. Before converting, he checked generate mapping coordinates to have a correct mapping on the boards, beams and posts without adding the UVW mapping modifier. To make the landscape, he used a simple plane converted to editable poly. Then he added the populate terrain script, a noise, a smooth and UVW mapping. He also added the push-pull effect to make the terrain more irregular. The wood panels were created with the Fleur Generator plugin. He created as many details as possible. This helped to make the final result more realistic. He worked on window details, adding some nails on the boards, hinges, and a lock on the door. To create the environment, grass, bushes, trees and plants, he used the forest pack add-on. Most of the trees are from these people and Andre Mikalenko's free collection. Also, there are some models from Vige Park and Evermotion, and some resources from Darstel Young Cert like those leaves on bricks, soil and some bushes. Tried to work harder on the details of this project, and that's why I also added some pebbles, old bark, leaves, and small wood scraps. These bricks are a 3 dd scan model from Quixel Megascan. The materials in this project are quite simple, but he tried to make them as realistic as possible. In these images, we can see the configuration of the wood and glass materials. For some pots and floor, he used surfaces from Quixel Megascans. The lighting was one of the most important parts of this project. I wanted to create a warm, pleasant and sunny atmosphere that generates positive emotions. In these images, we can see the configuration he used. For the lighting, he used only HDRI maps for each scene, the HDRI map he downloaded from Darstel Jungsert. He only changed the position of the sun for each scene. For the cloudy and night scenes, he also used an HDRI from Peter Guthrie. The night scene was simply done using light mix. To see for yourself, we're just going to leave you with a series of images along with the settings he used in Corona Camera. The post-production was very simple, I just changed a little bit the levels and curves. For a better effect, I also mixed some renders elements, like the ones you can see in the image. But as you can see, there is not much difference between the before and after images. We leave you with the final images, but first if you found the video interesting please like and subscribe to analyze more projects.